If you had a bit of a budget, right, and you're putting oh. two men in a room and watching them bounce off each other, in a sex look way? no further than you go Duncan and Ric Flair. Oh, yeah. That'd be a podcast for the Woo! ages. Give me a little room! <laughs> Top three shit holes go. Castle Derek. Right. Yuri. Yeah. Yuri again. <laughs> I don't do like it's so bad i'm like no one should see this and i'm about to show two thousand people at the mar I, he looks like deadpool without the suit yeah I swear that's to what he looks like you know when he got just got the f- freddy krueger body yeah <laughs> i look like i'm wearing a pink long sleeve with the tits cut out <laughs> yeah the tits are grand. it is actually billy bear ham yeah <laughs> it's actually that's what it is it's like it's like two white bits a slightly lighter pink bit and a dark purple around the outside and then weirdly i look at it and i go my natural skin tone is far more disgusting just that like milky tip you know if i pitch in the pool some more good it's all making toffee <laughs> <laughs> dude who brought popcorn into the pool man <laughs> now, did somebody open sugar puffs <laughs> what's going on man <laughs> and it's just you with your arm moving against the side of the pool and going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> just this mess of babies <laughs> 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 Ladies and bastards, <laughs> welcome to the Bomb Squad podcast. Uh, before we get started, Aaron's just tidying up in the background. Now. Before we get started, I'm ju- I would urge you to go over to patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod uh, if you want to get all of the uh, bonus podcasts that we've been recording for all these weeks. For as many, there'll be Jesus, there'll be 23 Patreons up there by God, and a live one. Uh, I've also <laughs> been forced at knife point to tell you that we have a Twitter. <laughs> Niall has told us that we have a Twitter and uh, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and uh, anywhere else weird we don't know about. YouTube. Deep up. YouTube. Aaron selling his knickers and YouTube. Uh, so enjoy the. Look at the way he's standing there. He's just standing there weird. I don't want to interrupt your flow. The beverage. <laughs> <laughs> this is King Lord of the Mics. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy the podcast episode 23, I believe. And while I have you, my guys, uh, I am doing Vicar Street in Dublin. Legendary behaviour. Uh, the tour kicks off on the 8th. The Vicar Street gig is on the 8th of September. When you hear this podcast, it'll be in a matter of days. Uh, so if you're in and around the area, uh, biggest show I've done down south by a mile, get yourself, uh, get yourself a ticket and come along. We might have some surprise guests. Do you want to do it again? Ah, fuck it. I'm a constant surprise <laughs> guest. Part of the furniture in there. Uh, so yeah, get yourself a ticket and go to colinguest.com for all tour details and enjoy the podcast again. Get on it. Nice. Yeah, you'll you'll find out what, what people really think of you. Yeah. Generally speaking. Yeah. And it's usually, yeah, you, you big fat bastard, you ugly bitch, you, fat, you know, whatever. Yeah. Just all the gates are open then. The gates are open. Poor Lizzo. But the, R.I.P. The thing about Lizzo was, you, like, of all the things they get cancelled for, it's for fat shaming your dancers. Yeah. And you're a unit? And you're an absolute <laughs> brick. Well, did she not, like, go to, like, some sex show in Amsterdam and, like, like said to one of her workers or one of her dancers, get that banana out of that doll's fanny there. Mm-hmm. And him, a gay lad, going, I don't want to touch that. Yeah. Potassium? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Heartburn. You know, when in Rome. Oh, I Eat the banana. Go see the, the peep show. Eat the banana out of the fucking girls. Do you remember whenever we went to the peep show? Aye. Me, you and Mickey. I was absolutely stuffed. Some squad of lads to go to. I mean, it wasn't a peep show really, was it? No, it was like a full blown, like, you know, theatre piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> did were... we go to two? We did go to two, didn't we? Nah, we couldn't just do one. We one. went bananas. You know, which is like too much of a, you know, it was like going on the Sally's. Like, like yeah. So, you know, it was like, too, oh, like yeah. You know, I'm not really getting a good visual on this banana. Yeah. The other one was like, you know, an an old school tiny theater. With Too the, much. Where you could hear the 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 wheel wheel turning to like open the curtains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And some dude with just those fucking like pit bull shades on. You know. Da, 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 oh, straight eye. Eh? Just piling into this girl who was just like <laughs> blank behind the eyes, <laughs> and they just kind of you know they show you they're on like a lazy susan, were they? Yeah. You know, so like. And they spin the fucking the lazy, 360 the, view. The lazy, the lazy Susan around to the next guy. 
Yeah, they were just fed up. Like, well, it just goes to show any job you get into, you know, there is a honeymoon period and then it's just yeah. another day at the office. I know. And like, what a what a job to be doing. for. Like, I wonder what the shift, the shift is like in there. Because they might go, if that's run all day, they might go, right, you're on 12 to 8. You're on 8 to 4 or something. I don't shift. see that during the day. I think a wee afternoon show, that'd be nice. I think it would be more, you know, like, ooh, during yeah. the day. Yeah. You know, when you're full of pints and you've seen fucking a thousand tits at that point. Yeah. You know, you go in there and you're like, ah, for fuck's sake, bro. Yeah. She's on her phone. I know a few lads who have, uh, you know, took a few ladies of the night up on their offers. Yeah. In Amsterdam. When in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> Show them that bone. <laughs> They gotta make their money somehow, you know what I mean? Like someone's bucking them. Well, this is it. They wouldn't, you know, be, they wouldn't be in the job if they're just standing all year being like, I made 40 euro this year. Some of them be fucking thumping them windows too. Oh yeah. You know? They want the bit, they want red. Yeah. They're like, I got dressed up tonight. Yeah. And someone, they, someone buck me for money. Yeah. And then they eye like, you know, tourists from Ireland up and down and you're like, this will be slim, but this will be fucking handy. When they see us? Yeah. Oh yeah. Not us, but Irish people. Yeah. You know? Well, us too. You oh, know. yeah. They're, they know the girl on the other side is like knocking the window going, this man <laughs> is from Craig Avon and has never seen a woman as attractive as me. Yeah. So most of the time when she bangs the window, he's just like... Yeah, or a black lady. <laughs> Fuck my nails on Beyonce. <laughs> Calls her Bay once. Yeah. Is that Bay once? <laughs> Welcome to the Bomb Squad Podcast! Oh fuck, I stand my foot there laughing and I think I've fucked up the back of it. That's two injuries you've had in the last while or both of them have laughed. No. What is this, Dirty Sanchez? One aneurysm and one broken ankle. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> and the lawn three? And the and the vocal fry? The vocal fry was bad. Oh, that God. was a full day yeah. of the, you know, hot water and honey to get rid of that. Yeah, you got that, you got the broken ankle and you got the fucking bleed on the brain. Yeah. Because I'm so much crack. I know. <laughs> Episode 23. We made it. Yeah. Nice. Now I thought it was 24. He's washing the days away. It's gone. Uh, no. <laughs> Where's, the beep? Smoke. Where's the beep? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the live podcast will be some crack. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Me just trying to find a button for fucking 20 minutes. Talk amongst yourselves there. Uh, yeah, episode 23. We made it, guys. Here we are. We talked extensively about. Um, prostitutes there for a minute yeah. in amsterdam sorry for the cold open there we were deep in conversation deep in convo uh prime and a vape you on keto <laughs> i just needed a stimulant you know the prime the prime is just you know it, it was like you know it was a bit hype basically for a minute you had the queue up punch a few parents to buy one for fucking 400 quid and that's everywhere oh yeah but that's what you want you know i was like let's wait until this is in like mcgurr sparnoma and then that's when i'll get on it <laughs> You know, that's how you know. Yeah. Also, I wonder does uh, does Logan Paul know that? He's like, we gotta get it. We number. made it, man. <laughs> Murgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we signed the deal, baby. That was my first job too. His what? wife's in the background. Just <laughs> <laughs> some other fucking celebrity clapping her cheeks. Uh, Hugo Dunker. <laughs> 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 Logan he, Paul's ex getting skiddly deed. Skiddly, <laughs> skiddly deed on her back. <laughs> with the rest, with the rest of the skiddly. <laughs> I've had nine ice pop primes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You know, absolutely <laughs> fucking lit. Now, if you could, if you had a bit of a budget, right, and you're putting oh. two men in a room and watching them bounce off each other. In a sex Look way? no further than you go Duncan and Ric Flair. Oh yeah, that'd be a podcast for the Woo! ages. The skiddly diddling. The skiddly diddling. Crap worm. Turf flocking. Pig fucking. Dealer boot worm. Wax jacket. Flossing. Son of a hair. Buffet destroying. Son of a bastard. Uh, woo! <laughs> After party in McGurr's. Don't even know what that is. It's just this bar. It's near your house. To be fair, if you were to have an after party, just read somewhere at this bar, be fucking lit. Be great. Oh, yeah. You get yeah. Every, everything you want. This bar's got a wee, uh, like, a wee <coughs> office in the corner. Oh, aye. Oh, man. A couple of beers. Do you want a sandwich? No bother. 
I remember the Tiny Tampa did like a gig in London in a McDonald's for like some advert the McDonald's were doing or some shit, and it looked unbelievable. Yeah. Did we cover who who was on the podcast or what podcast was it when they were talking about? Uh, was it Titchy Strider or, so, or some, somebody was in Ooh, Stravan? Who, who was showing us that? Or was that on a podcast? I've done nine podcasts this week. There's been a couple of like, you know, big celebrities that have randomly ended up in Castle Derg. Yeah. Coolio, Coolio, Coolio. for example. RIP. Talk about conspiracies. Poor primate for the boys that are in here. Was it, was it because of Castle Derg? <laughs> what, for Coolio? Yeah. I mean, I'd say it wouldn't have helped. You know, like he probably seen that, and he's like, "There's no hope for humanity," <laughs> and just did a fucking meter long. This is a gangster's hell. Real of coke. <laughs> Yo, this is not a gangster's paradise. No, Castle Dirk definitely isn't gangster's paradise. It is not. No. Shit, I can I can happily stand behind that statement. What shit hole? <laughs> Top three shit holes go. Castle Dirk, right? Yuri, yeah, Yuri again. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Lauren always gets a wild touch. I don't mind Lauren at all. Well, this is this is the thing. Lauren is like a, a small like harbor town, mm -hmm. so of course most of the year in this country it's all rainy and shitty and it's a bit grotty and stinking. Yeah. You know the sun comes out and you drive you know through the town and up the coast. Oh, lovely. Yeah. You know. Hidden gem. You pull up the port rush in fucking the middle of November. Oh, You'd sir. be like, what happened here? Is this nuclear fallout? I would say the, the port though on a day. A good day. Oh. Uh, do you, where else would oh. you be? Protestants paradise. Be, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you Living in a Protestant's paradise. Yeah, it's uh There's no place you'd rather be now. See, you're out there and you know, you got berries in the background and you're holding yourself a fucking old pint of harp. Shit. <laughs> and the sun's beating down your pink tits. Uh, Couldn't be better. I can't wait this live podcast tomorrow, speaking of pink tits, when we flash up some photos from your holiday. Oh, so I I have literally went out of my way to hold off yeah. on the Hawaii dump, yeah, just so I can show you some clips. We were in, uh, we went for a writing session the other day, and ended up in the Silver Birches Hotel. Um, International which, players, don't uh, Yeah, fucking Mr. Worldwide. But there was, um, it was me and Aaron, and then lots of old people who go to hotels for lunches. What was the overheard that we got that we were pissing ourselves at? Can you remember? The cabbage one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's always just a muttering of like, I don't know, I ordered the cabbage. Yeah, it was like some doll, right? And it was like, oh, gee, the only cabbage. noise that she was making before it was just the sound of her gums rubbing against each other. And she's like, cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> we went for a piss in the old doll. They, these, were, these people were old, like they were like 90. Oh, yeah. And they come in and... Uh, the guy was like, I'll have a pint of Guinness. And the woman was like, you good for you at all. Tw quarter past 12 in the day, good man. I'll yeah. keep you alive. And then the, 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 our love, was she, she was just like, uh, she was like, I'll just have a white lemonade. And then she fucking took a big sup of the lemonade. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, your walk back from I've just had a shit is so suspicious. Oh, yeah. Because you're like, I'm my first shit. And then you walk back in the room like, I you, you know, you kind of like. I just did it there now. Yeah, you kind of look around. You're like, oh, not not me, man. I'm just. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Man? I'd be a terrible hat, man. Like, yeah. If I had to take someone out, and then. <laughs> but see, see, like that age, right? You know, I have friends that are into biohack and all this shit, trying to prolong their lives and all. Yeah. No. You're like right it into the dirt immediately. Once you start talking about the cabbage and stuff with the lemon, it's time to go. Yeah. Clock out. Exactly. And then I seen that couple, you know, and uh, the, the white lemonade lady, she seemed like she was aging r way more rapidly than the fella. Mm -hmm. the fella was having a pint. I thought you said Asian for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> white lemonade. No, stop. But. Uh, Go on, then, you uh, love it. <laughs> Yeah, she looked like she. I mean, that's a, that's a good time to leave your wife of 40 years, isn't it? Oh, yeah. When she starts to show signs that, like, you're an idol. Yeah. I'm an older gent. Straighten your back, folks. Like, I'm out of here. Yeah. You know? But my point is... Good luck with the wreckage you here. He pulls out a photo of him <laughs> with the, the pink tits roasted off him, and I erupted with laughter, uh, you know, and everyone was like, Keen on that. I described it last week, do you remember? Where it was like all these Insta models oh, yeah. getting their pictures and stuff, and sir, like literally... And it's, it's worse than I could have imagined. It's so disgusting. 
like it's so bad i'm like no one should see this and i'm about to show two thousand people at the mar I, he looks like deadpool without the suit yeah I swear <laughs> that's to God. what he looks like you know when he got just got the fucking freddy krueger body yeah <laughs> i look like i'm wearing a pink long sleeve <laughs> with the tits cut out yeah the for tits so, are grand. it is actually billy bear ham yeah <laughs> it's actually that's what it is it's like it's like two white bits a slightly lighter pink bit and a dark fucking purple around the outside and then weirdly i look at it and i go my natural skin tone is far more disgusting just that like milky tit yeah it just doesn't look right just that milk tit <laughs> that, that those tits you get in like an old painting yeah <laughs> <laughs> some renaissance paintings of just some woman over a chaise long yeah <laughs> renaissance titties too yeah <laughs> Show me those renaissance titties. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking, yeah. I can't wait to lose a bunch of weight and feel half okay about myself. Nah. Whenever I look at shit like that, I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. You Stop never, eating lasagna for fuck's sake. You never lose enough, you know? Nah. You'd have to be absolutely shredded with actual veins down your dick face. No, nah, no, nah, I couldn't do that either. You can't keep up with that. that. I, I think once you've been fat, you're always fat. Yeah. You know, you, can get, you can get in great shape and people still be like, shut up, you fat bastard. Yeah. The biggest fuck you I've ever seen was uh, old camcorder footage of like Joe Rogan out the back of the comedy store. Mm -hmm. and this drunk guy was like, yeah, mate, shouting away at him. And you know, he wears like big clothes and he's very small. So he might, maybe, if you're pissed, be like, there's a small fat Italian man. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's like, you're fat, does his face. <laughs> and, he, and he just pulls the top up and it's like fucking eight pack. Oh, is this a uh, young Joe Rogan? Oh, it's ancient. And he had yeah. the hair on? Yeah. yeah. That'd, be the be that'd be the best fuck you, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, if someone called oh. me fat and I pulled my top up, they'd probably just be sick. I told you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trigger warning. Tell me before you pull out the fucking Billy Bear. The Billy Bear Renaissance tip. <laughs> my new album, that's the name of the podcast. Keep it all in now. Billy Bear Renaissance would be a great Billy rap Bear have <laughs> Billy Bear Ham. Album? Billy. What? Sorry, I Billy Bear figured there. Billy Bear Re Renaissance tip. <laughs> Billy Bear slash Renaissance tip. Yeah, it's like a fucking Travis Scott song. <laughs> All in caps with a slash in the middle. Yeah. Instead, he's called his album Utopia, yeah. which was the name of a great nightclub at Oma. Closed down. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. It was the go-to Protestant one. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it, 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 the perk of it was... Back Flu Flutopia? <laughs> you know? Playing all your, all your classics on a flute. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they used Sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear David Guetta featured that, Akon. That, uh? You hear David Guetta featured Akon, sexy bitch, immediately followed by Simply the Best. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Every other song, Simply the Best. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Simply the Best again. Simply the Best. Little John on the East Side, boys. Here's <laughs> Taju for strings. <laughs> And you have to be quiet, you know, like <laughs> in bars when someone starts saying, shh. But I go, do you take requests? <laughs> do sound storm there for a bit. <laughs> I just did it. Did I? No. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. That was a tough one for the flute. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's tough on the flute. <laughs> oh, God, it is tough on the flute. Uh, just, I'll give you a zombination. <laughs> but I couldn't give you a sound storm. <laughs> Speaking of tough on the flute, sir, there's something not right with my deck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't the know if it was the first song off uh, <laughs> Billy Bear Renaissance Tits. Tough on the flute. <laughs> tough on the flute slash something wrong with my deck, sir. <laughs> tough on the flute featuring Gucci Man. <laughs> first day out the guest room. My dick, <laughs> my dick purple. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Drip too hot. <laughs> <laughs> drip too hot, my dick. <laughs> what the fuck are we? Oh, good stuff. Ah! <laughs> What's wrong with your deck then? It's just, I don't know if it was like the way in air or something, but it's like, it, it gets wild sore. Have you ripped it off your body <laughs> nearly? <laughs> Man, see after my ninth jack. <laughs> my dick's. Well, maybe your whole I body. I think I've had my last aloha. That's <laughs> fucked. Your dick's sore? It is like, you know, certain... I've noticed it over the past few weeks. I'll just be walking about and be like, that's why I'm fucking sore. 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> the uh, so how, like what are we talking? Up the pisser or <laughs> or, or does the whole does the whole mate feel <laughs> so? Does, no, it's not full mate. It's like <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, probably what you said first there. Up the up the pisser. Up the pisser, uh, sir. Yeah, up the pisser. So is that bad? Shagging chicks. No, it, well, six that, rounds at a time. It's definitely not that. That mm. that, that, the, that was a fucking once in a blue moon. I have it's to wait for four years now before it comes around again. By the way, <laughs> by the way, blue moon tonight. What? Oh, nice. Like actual, uh, you know, on the. Sure, fucking ocean should have told you that. Oh, is it a blue moon? It's a blue moon. You know, when people say once in a blue moon, it's a, a, actually a blue moon tonight. Now, how long is the actual time between the blue moons? To justify now, that phrase? Maureen said 40 years. Okay. But that could be way off. Google that real quick. Well, how often is a blue moon? How often is a blue moon? Smooth. <coughs> Smooth fucking retard. <laughs> Smooth fucking retard. Mm. Every 33 months? <laughs> That's fuck all. Mm. Maureen, do some research. <laughs> Idiot! A blue moon? Really? I love, I love, um, I imagine me saying that and us just coming in here and waffling total shite about things we have no idea about. Yeah. Do some research about astronomy. Yeah, Peterson. <laughs> we get him on for the crack. Us, I, Jordan Peterson? Yeah. Oh, bloody right. What are you right? I think, I think he All three of us just crying. <laughs> hey, you're having laughter or not? He'd have a good time. Al Peterson, you know. I don't know if he's wanting to have a good time. Maybe, maybe if you just went, listen, man, we're not going to get into the weeds with, you know, a load of no. fucking psych shit. Let's just have a laugh. Yeah. Let's you just know. have a giggle, Jordy. Have you ever had a finger up your ass? No, I don't want to. Yeah. Rather, uh, well, <laughs> ha- have I had a finger up my ass? It's... What's his dirty talk game like? Has now? my ass been round a finger? Uh, what's his dirty talk like? Yeah. I don't know. But like Kermit the Frog. And Look at my bank account. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight amps. <laughs> Sorry, that was 21 Savage uh, X Jordan Peterson there. One, for the hip hop ads. Uh, what was the question? Blue Moon? What, what the fuck? Too many tabs open. I don't know. But Blue Moon is 33 months. Ah, the tabs are open. Yeah. Too many tabs. Your deck is sore. Which, to be honest, 33 months is probably the amount of time I get the ride, yeah. I literally get the ride once in a blue moon. Nice. 40 years is too much. You know, aye, you get 40, two rides and you're aye, dead. That's aye. a, you get jipped. On a good, on a good, on a good shift. Uh, <laughs> but I, every 33 months, that sounds a bit perfect. So you, you're literally. It's getting, a healthy body count. Well, that's, you're like a werewolf, you know what I mean? That's why when, when you, when you get that blue moon, you're, you're leaving six rounds and something check. Maybe I'll get the ride tonight. What's happening in the night? Blue moon. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well. Yeah, it'd be an interesting day yeah, between be being in my car and a 273. Be some bus home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Do you, you see your dick sore? Yeah. Down the pisser? Yeah, I already regret bringing this up, but yeah, it's like down the pisser. Okay. It just happens every... so. But I've noticed it since I've came back. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Get There's any doctors in the... You know. I'm gonna guess. What what does that sound like? UTI. UTI. I was gonna say that urinary tract infection. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're joking me. <laughs> oh, I've touched my last bush. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, yes. What during passion? I noticed it. Yeah, urinary tract infection. How do you get that? What have I done? Being a dirty dick. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it could be anything. It could be like seawater up your piss. I don't want to go to the doctors again and get my piece out. No, you know what you do? <laughs> I've done that once this year and it was terrible. I take your hand off your penis. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're holding the gun. Literally had to tell that to me. Do you know what one of the uh, remedies for that is? What's that? Cranberry juice. Oh, God, no, I'll just take the sword dick. No harm. But you just put your dick I in it. I can't even have it in a vape flavor. <laughs> you just put your dick in it. <laughs> You just sit in the guest room with a fucking looter, as you would say. <laughs> <laughs> give it a look, give it a look. Uh, just hanging in the fucking cranberry. Oh my god! No, you don't. You drink it. You this is drink. the worst th- remedy. This you is do. the worst fruit. But you couldn't, you couldn't choke down a, a cranberry juice to clean no, your. No, I hate pipes? even even cranberry sauce and shit. I hate it every Christmas the way. But they're do- they're, I mean, oh, it's it- a Christmas burger. We put cranberry sauce. Nah, in come it. on, fuck off. Cranberry sauce. 
for, what am I? If it was stuffing, I'd be all over it. You get rid of a sword that bite and stuff. And but there's plenty of happy you. days. Listen, yeah, open. Yes, but like, imagine a imagine an illness that was cured by just drinking a fruit juice. Unbelievable, and you won't even do it for I the know. sake of your own hot piss. I know, I know. Well, I'll give it a go. How's about that? We'll stop off with the apple grains on the way down the road. Get a sweetened one. I'll get a few five lives. No cranberry juice. Has to be pure crown. Ocean spray. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably how you get into this fucking mess in the first place. <laughs> You've had ocean spray. You got a bit of sand up your pisser. And your friends called ocean. The wires are crossed. Synergy. But uh, you know what's fucked up, right? Is I didn't realize how many people openly piss in pools. Mm. Like openly, as in like we'll just stand they're just at the like side. yeah, piss in the pool. Like at that Airbnb. Yeah. At the Joshua Tree. Yeah. Everyone was in the pool, having a good time, splashing, splashing, whatever, having yeah. a few drinks. We go into the kitchen, we're having dinner. Everyone's like, yeah, did, did you piss in there too? I was like, no, you dirty bastard. Yeah, no. I, uh... No, because, like, if you, you know, if you can squirt out a wee cute piss, fair enough. Yeah. I don't want to be standing there for, like, 90 seconds with a yellow cloud around me, like, ah. Oh. I've never had a cute piss. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Never once. <laughs> I've ne- horror films pish. If you can do, if you be a cute girl, like, ha, ha, you know. If I pish in the pool, someone will go to someone making toffee. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who brought popcorn into the pool, man? <laughs> now, Did somebody open sugar puffs? <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> and it's just you, with your arm moving against the side of the pool, and going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> just this mess of babies? <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, you're like, I can't get away with pissing the pool. Why is that? Uh, it's cloudy. <laughs> Someone turn the jets on. <laughs> <laughs> Someone drop an IPA in this pool. <laughs> well, I can't piss red shitting, so what a nightmare. <laughs> Took a screenshot in the pool. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but then here's the thing, right? Uh, okay. Uh, I will hold my hands up. All right, when you're pissing. Try to start the ankles. Fire. That's a stag dude post right there. Um, <laughs> but no, it was like I did because I talked about it, right, and I judged everyone so hard for it. I was like, "Use your fucking dirty yank bastards." That's fucking disgusting. Even the hubris to open up about it after you've done it is insane. They get the confidence of that. And then when we went to Hawaii, we did the sunset kind of, you know, fucking cruise, whatever. Yep. I jumped into the ocean and I had a pish. And I will say it was lovely. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I jokingly, like the time we went out co-steering. Remember that now? Oh, yeah. When we used to do fun things instead of 14 podcasts a day. <laughs> but um, I had a good time. I jokingly was like, you know, we're paddling along in a kayak in the middle mm-hmm. of the ocean and mm-hmm. I jokingly was like where's the toilets around here as a joke like you know <laughs> you'd already pissed no the guy's like you're wearing it you're wearing the toilet yeah and I just fucking <laughs> just loafed right into it and squished it down the bottom of my leg I never really thought about it that much and then like when even whenever we were in the beaches and stuff I was like going am I just covered in Polynesian pish right now you know from all these like big hunky fucking Hawaiian dudes coming in and just dropping their pish in the sea, like yeah, I mean, there's so much water. You know what I mean? It would, it would disperse pretty quickly. Okay, I'll give you. I hey, think pish isn't the worst thing. Do they not say pish is like sterile or something? I mean, listen, I think in the sea and stuff, I got acceptable. The pool, depending on the size of the pool, you are a dirty here. Like yeah, if there's eighty in a hot tub. Yeah, and you're absolutely launching piss. Into That's it. not right. Nah. That's not right. And it's hot too. And it's, it's hot. It's stew. It's soup, basically. You ever, you ever end up having a few too many shandies in the tub, and you're fucking blitzed in a hot tub? Yeah. Now, I don't know if I've ever been in a fucking hot tub. I heard about that as a rumor, being like, "Oh, you get so fucking smashed if you're in a hot tub," and then sure enough, at that at the Joshua Tree thing, I had a few, you know, fucking white claws, and was like, "Oh, that's a do hon. Fucking absolute blackout. Yeah, but I would imagine you spent all day in the blazing heat and, yes. ha- and had about two sips of water and then got into a hotter environment and then got and then drank a vodka-based drink. Correct. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. If I had if I had to guess. <laughs> oh, fuck, are you celebrating the blue moon tonight anyway? 
Oh, Jesus, I'll fucking, uh, yeah, God, I'll, um, take a brush there and I'll, I'll sweep all the water that's leaked into my kitchen. Oh, wait, the kitchen flooded and, this morning? Uh, yeah, I woke up this morning and it was like fucking, I mean, it was, there, there, honestly, when I was a kid, there was an episode of, uh, what do you call it? Tom and Jerry mm-hmm. that I see, right? <laughs> and they, they he, fl- uh, no, he, has, he flooded, he flooded the kitchen and then pulled the pipe out of the kitchen and shoved it in the water and it like froze the water and he yeah. skated around the kitchen. So, you know, it was a bit like that. Like I walked in and was like, man, if I could freeze this, I could skate. <laughs> That's how much water there was on the fucking tiles. Uh, but yeah, that was a nightmare. That's why I was late picking you up. But, uh, yeah, you're all good. That's my life at the minute. You know what I mean? My wife's like, mate, what time are you home? Yeah. And she doesn't talk like that at all. But, you know, she'd be like, we have to go see. We have to go to a kitchen place and look at like 23 handles that are the same. And then we've got to go home and handle this flood. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've had I've had ludicrous texts in the last couple of days. Okay. I told you about one. Our boy Nico, this might be a secret. He he rings me. Mm-hmm. He's like, do you want to do a podcast maybe with Jordan Peterson? Now, I don't know if that's public knowledge or not, but that lunacy. You know, it's like it's like when I got that phone call about uh, Kevin Hart. I was like, well, I'll believe it when it happens. Yeah. You know? But then Shane texted me yesterday going, do you want to do the boxing in February next year? And uh, he's like, who would you fight? And I was like, <laughs> <"Dad."> <laughs> No, I was <laughs> But it's so niche. Beep, it was some matchup. Beep that out. Now just to get some uh, hype going. Yeah. Uh, but then he was, and then I was like, well, I don't know. The options are quite slim for me. Yeah. Like who, who's a big lad that wants to fight? Yeah. And he goes, I was thinking about getting some bigger names from across the water. He's like, would you fight Paul Smith? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. First of all, I will have to lose nine stone mm-hmm. to fight him. But I'm like, can you imagine that? Isn't he like currently doing like MMA? Yeah. Oh my god! But I said the morning I was like, "This is what I don't want to. I don't want to fight like, you know, me versus Jordan Robinson." Yeah. And I execute him. Yeah. No harm, Jordy. Love you. Shout out. Shout out. You know, heart of a lion and a pig. But here, <laughs> you know, <laughs> do you know? I was like, I want to be scared. I want. I want someone to tell me you're fighting this guy, and the chances are he's gonna beat the shit out of you in February. And I'll be like, We'll fucking see. Aye. We'll fucking see. Yeah, what? that would send you into a zone. Oh, I'd be. A f- it would be all considered. I'd be for insufferable. You. I'd be, be I'd be coming in here recording this and like doing setups on the roof. Yeah. Just dipping down to the mic every once in a while. <laughs> Aye. UTI. Aye. I don't know now. Shaking them. <laughs> that's, that's some, uh, that's some bite, you know? That'd be class, wouldn't it? It would. You versus Paul Smith. No, I, I, no. What, what height is Paul Smith? Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm not, this isn't a call out. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a call out at all. Does he even know? No, he don't know about it. <laughs> Whole beef, whole it's beef. Definitely not a call out. Whole beef, whole beef started online. The, f- the fuck's this? Yeah, you know. Guy wakes up, you know, hops in the Lambo. Ding. Oh yeah. I hear you're fighting gals, you know. And I'm getting in my car, going like, why is there cobwebs in it? <laughs> yeah. No joke, cobwebs in the car. But that'll be that'll be class. Yeah, that would be and great. A, a bit in the SSE, raising money for uh, aware or whatever or whatever. Who was it that texted you about it? Shane. Shane. Yeah. Does he know who he's fighting? Sean Heggs, I think. Sean Heggs. Nice. Makes sense. That nice. makes sense. Yeah. Who could I fight? It's a comedian. It's a big yoke. Anyone on earth. Big unit comedians. Don French. <laughs> I'd love to see you fight Bobby Kelly. I think that would be fantastic. Yeah. Like, cause entertainment value alone, I feel like if the two of you really got into it, yeah. And like we're doing call out videos. Oh yeah. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know, two fucking similar builds of men. You know, although he went he went to Turkey. Aye. He gonna have that stomach slapped off. Yeah. But it would just be a big grip. I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I'll do it this time. Nice. Just, f- I'll, I'll, I know I'll not be able to keep myself, you know, like having fun about it. Mm-hmm. I'll solve for charity. I'll be like, nah. Nah. The fl- the switch gets flipped. You'll need a charity. And it's on time. <laughs> we'll be starting a new charity. <laughs> you liver for Jody Robinson? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Isn't it mad that we live in a country where you could do something like Hawkins that? Hawkins wheelchair for Dave Elliott? <laughs> You know, 
Uh, but you couldn't do shit like this in America. Like, same as saying that. I just walk straight in, someone clips me in the nose, and I'm like, ah! Yeah. Fuck! Nah, man, the people are roaring all Take my gloves off, I need a shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what would be your boxer name? I would I would put it out as a vote. I'm like, imagine, imagine you just had an announcer going, Colin, Barry the Blender Henderson, get us. <laughs> uh, I would do arm bloom in McCann. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it every 33 months. The sex shooter. <laughs> there is a boxing coach called like Six Guns Gibson or something. Six Guns Gibson? Yeah. It's pretty badass. I like yeah, that. Um, or Gibson or something like that. I think or it's Gibson. The Omanity I'd go for as well. Yeah, because you, you don't want to be like too badass. Nah. What, would you, what fight name would you give me? Colin Geddes is the worst name. I, I've, Colin Geddes is a great name. Colin Geddes is a very showbiz name, I think. It's a very... And your son's name? He better be... That's a, he is a cool name. Yeah. He he's going to cool be name. a fucking singer of a rock band or yeah, something. Colin Geddes sounds like... Is the shittest name ever? No, I don't think so. Oh There's God. far Bang. shitter names. Mickey Bartlett. <laughs> you know? She, <laughs> she and Todd. Bow, bow. You know? Colin Geddes. And give it up for, uh, you know, the manager of the venue, Colin Gattles. <laughs> you know, shit name. Shit name. I think you're being too harsh on yourself there, though. I don't think it's a bad name. Everyone in this room has a better name than me. Colin Gattles. Now, what's your full name again? For fuck's sake. I know, right? Like, Niall, I'm Niall. only calling you now, don't even say it. Niall Francis Fagan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's here. That guy writes Aye. poems. Aye. What are you, a playwright? Yeah, in the guy, 1920s? That guy writes fucking books. And Dave, give us your full name there. Uh, that's pretty sexy. That's Porn, pretty, I would pretty say. pretty good too. Yeah. Um, call, him, call him William Geddes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I can see the DUP poster already. <laughs> They should do that. They should do that. They should ham up the election posters a wee bit. Make it silly. Get a bit jazzy, you know. Mm. Push the teeth out. <laughs> yeah. Stick your tongue out. Get the booty in. They, they all look fucking stupid in those photos. Well, like they all look dead by the eyes. You see some of the photos and you're like, is that the one you went for? Yeah. The only I remember cutting out uh, the only time I've ever like self-edited edited a podcast <clears throat> was whenever some... Uh, DUP type guy had said something and I fucking went off on him for being absolutely just I mean the guy physically mm. was like fucking one ear up here one down one eye fucking the guy was looked like he could a few UTIs the guy fucking you, yeah UTI <laughs> UTIs <laughs> but I I just I, I like the guy looked like Mr. B like someone assembled a Mr. Potato Head but they were like 18 months old yeah fucking ears all over the place my teeth fuck and I just absolutely went in on him real hard and I cut it out because I was just like, I think the country's too small. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I just, I feel like that would go up and people would just have it to him in like fucking 30 minutes. This is a problem. You know, mm. most comics with these podcasts, they can slag off people and like random clips that get sent. And if you get sent in something here, it's like, oh, fuck, that's my aunt they've made or something like that. Mm. You know, you mention a business, they're fucking on to you. And oh, you. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, but anyway. Um, I'm going to play this clip here. Uh, in fact, will I airdrop it to you? What is the clip? The clip is... I got a, I got several teen messages from various directions of people going... Um, Bert, our friend of the show, Bert Kreischer. Oh, I've got it right here, friend. Oh, you got it right up, bro? Here. You got it loaded and all? I was going to send you the isolated clip. Time stamped and all. Time stamped well, and all. Sure the, so, so uh, obviously, obviously uh, our friend Bert Kreischer, friend of the show... Um, he followed Bomb Squad the other, the other day, followed followed me. He probably already followed you, did he? No, he just followed me from that. And uh, he wrote to the Bomb Squad page saying, fucking subscribed. Okay. Crazy. Then he goes on his own podcast, Two Bears, One Cup. Have you heard of it? And uh, <laughs> he he was talking to Segura, like, you know, this is what I've been up to and I've been listening to this. And then he goes, I, find, I was listening to two guys from Ireland. And it, I don't even like the way he changed what he was about to say. You know, he was about to go. Have you heard this, Dave? No. Uh, give Dave the headphones two seconds there. Uh, 
We'll get <laughs> hey, get on that Patreon, my guys, so we we'll get the <laughs> inside. Of, share the headphones. Get, get the inside <laughs> of headphones. Skint? Fuck, yeah, that's embarrassing. Cut that old bit out. <laughs> we got loads of headphones, man. <laughs> I have another set on these ones. But anyway, uh, but yeah, he was he was like about to say he was about to look up the name of the podcast, and then Segura cut him off. The whole day, whole day. That's all I ate. And Joe brought in Terry Blacks last night, and I just stayed away from it. Had that's like good. two tequilas, bounced. Went back to my room. I took a road tequila. Went back to my room. Went to bed. Listened to uh, Robier Maximilian's life and the Reign of Terror. And uh, I listened to history podcasts. I found two guys that are re- have a pretty good podcast. I think they're in Ireland. Yeah, it's called Who's uh, Who? Do you listen to the Life Story of Who? Uh, and that was it. <laughs> that was it. That's as close as we've so ever close. we've ever been to any sort of mainstream success. The hand of God was reaching down, <laughs> and they just took it away. We, d- defeat from the jaws of victory. That's what that was. Oh God. Oh, uh, the tip was nearly in. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I was listening to a podca- podcast, two guys in Ireland, uh, and who's the other guy? Segura, you f- <laughs> You cock-blocking, baldy <laughs> bastard. <laughs> oh, fuck. Unbelievable. Oh, fuck. Ball, is, ball hog is right. It is mad to think that, you know, Bird's had an old barbecue to himself, and then he's going home to unwind, and he throws on this. <laughs> Shit. <I don't- laughs> Dude, I've had a UTI. <laughs> What is Billy Bear Ham? Yeah. <laughs> then he's on the next week's podcast. I've been binging on Billy Bear Ham. <laughs> if I see any Billy Bear Ham in them promo clips, Bert, you better get the PayPal out. Uh, Allison Spittle has merch where it's the Billy Bear Ham. No way. Yeah. That's class. On the on a tote bag. Shout out to Spittle. Shout out to Spittle. Uh, she, uh, she was doing her set at Ivy Gardens and she had her handbag and all. She had like a backpack and a handbag and all this shit on the table. She left it there and we got up and I got out of this uh, got out of this picnic table and my foot went through the loop of her handbag and bro I booted the fucking shit everywhere. <laughs> I'm hunting. She don't even know this probably. I'm hunting through the bushes looking for mascaras now. Oh god! I kicked all her product halfway across the fucking room. Be funny if she had something dodgy in the bag and you kicked it across. Yeah, eight dildos. Yeah, stop hitting the table. Will sorry, you? sorry. I'm, I'm so Enjoy excited. the podcast, my guys. <laughs> hey, Bert. You having a good sleep, lad? <laughs> I have to stop listening. You fucking do this drum in the table. I uh, said that the two bears won't give as well. I was, uh, you know, regardless, right? It's almost cooler that it didn't happen. Well, I said the Nile to go on in the bomb squad account and just write under it, like, who was the t- who was the Irish guys that we're talking about? And they're like the and two then- the two Johnnies. <laughs> 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 who the fuck are these retards? <laughs> Bomb squad gay. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> it would be funny if they weren't talking about us, because <laughs> it does light up. It's like obviously he followed both of us. He followed the page on oh, shit. So you know you he would commented assume, on the, the Goggins video. Yeah, you would assume it's definitely us, but it would be so funny if it had nothing to do with us. He yeah. just loves Irish podcasts. Oh, uh, mud blood, you know. Yeah, that, but no, it's that almost, would also be great. It's almost, it's cooler that it didn't happen. Yeah. Is it? No. I, it is kind of. <laughs> wrong. You know, it's a funny story. Fucking wrong. So be like, oh, Bert Kreischer nearly name dropped the podcast and then just didn't, you know? Son of a bitch. Anyway, tell your tales of Dublin there. That was fun. That was unreal. What time is it? Jesus, we've talked some shit. How quickly did we like turn that around? Like I kind of said to you that morning. Well, this was after, you know, we, we talked about. <laughs> Did I talk about it? I definitely talk about it on my Patreon for the Jenner Banter, but like you went down obviously on the Thursday and got offered a support. Mm-hmm. Or last, as last, last minute. minute again. This is at the Shane Gillis gig, by the way, in Dublin. And listen, like, I don't mind doing gigs last minute, you know? If you if I'm down at Lavery or something and you're like, do you want to hop on and host? I'm like, fucking right, let's mm. party, let's dance. But this is like, this was a lot. Like, yeah. For like 20 minutes. To kind of get myself together and realize I was doing it, it yeah. was a lot. Yeah, Vicar Street sold out. Fucking my favorite comedian, essentially, being like, "Oh, do you want to hop on and you know do ten minutes?" And I was like, "I know, bar, I know, I <laughs> just <laughs> fill the trunks immediately." <laughs> but it was fun and went down. Uh, uh, Chris O'Connor and Tommy Pope were there. Shout out the Stuff Island boys. 
Uh, they have a great podcast as well. And uh, funny guys. Yeah, oh, hilarious. Funny guys. And uh, yeah, just like I brought Dolan down on the Thursday, my mate from back home, and just went down and hung out and did the spot and was chatting to Shane for a bit, gave me some great advice about moving to America and stuff like that. And then the whole family was there, which I was kind of sitting back and I was like, man, that's why you would want like pure wealth is to be able to do shit like that. Mm. Be like, oh, there's a the American football game on in Dublin. I'm just going to fly the whole family and my mates out. And then while I'm there, I'll put on three shows and they'll all sell out. No bother. <laughs> Unreal. Like the chat news. Da. He might have the ideal career. Oh, 100%. It's the, the whole, blueprint, I'd the say. The cancellation business, but it probably get, it was a good thing for him. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, like, you know, meeting his family and shit as well, it was so funny. I was telling you, it was like, uh, so I think it was an uncle. It was some relation that was there in the first night, but wasn't there in the second night. And uh, he was like, uh, what part of Ireland are you from again? And I was like, oh, I'm from uh, Tyrone, the like county Tyrone. And he goes, oh, you ever been to Tomney's? And I was like, who the fuck told you that? Yeah. <laughs> who the fuck Did told someone you, tell to, say you to say that? Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, nah, I have a good friend. He's, he's from Ben Burb. And, uh, you know, he moved over to Philadelphia. And, you know, we, we've went, I've been out there. I've been to Tomney's. And I was like, that is fucking nuts. And, uh, yeah. I've been to the Moy Inn. <laughs> <laughs> I got a car free dinner. <laughs> you ever go down to McGurr's Spar? <laughs> Great <laughs> deli. <laughs> lit. Absolutely lit. You been to singe and burn? <laughs> God damn. The kitchen in Oma. What a spot. What a spot. <laughs> you were there the other day, shout out. Great. Um, uh, but yeah, so that was, it was very like surreal. Like it was, the whole thing was just very surreal and it was a very cool experience. And then we went out after to a bar, had a few drinks there. And then like I was working, I had to clock into the vape shop the next day. Yeah. So I was out there and it was like, I just said the door. How do like, you clock listen. into the vape shop? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So, or I can't think right now. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we, like, I, I turned the door and I was like, listen, like, I'm working tomorrow, you're working tomorrow, whenever you want to head, we'll head. And fair play to him, he, he was just as excited to be there, so he just fucking stuck it out till mm -hmm. like, must have been like half one in the morning. God damn. And then, I was hammered. I was pissed, like, because there was so much adrenaline and the whole thing was like a bit, weird to begin with that i was like i'm just gonna get drunk here mm -hmm. and uh you know at the start i was even nervous to grab a beer from the green room yeah because i was like it's not my show you know he's kind of invited me down here and then he told me how much coin he's left and i was like fuck you i'm drinking all these white claws i'm taking two bud lights lucky lucky and uh so i was hammered like and i don was like right i think we'll head now and i was like yeah totally agree let's go we've got a fucking long enough drive ahead of us and as i was leaving the bar I just went and said goodbye to everyone. And I thought that was it. So I said, bye, bye, she. I said, bye to everyone. <laughs> went up to shit. Literally was like, Man, I just want to say, hey, <laughs> that was fucking unbelievable. I, you know, Jesus Christ. What a, what a, what a moment. Like, uh, you know, sure. My favorite comedians of all time. I'm so appreciative of it. And then he was like, all right, don't get gay on me. I need you here tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, oh fuck. So then I had to go to the vape shop. This is where then I text you about it. I was like, I have to go into the vape shop tomorrow morning and I have to, I felt so bad about it, but I was like saying to the manager, I was like, here, I know I've just started here. I have bigger fish to fry. But I was like, literally last night in Dublin, I opened up for like my favorite comic and he's looking at me to do the same again tonight. And I was like, I know I'm on the six. Is there any chance I can get like a half day to make it down? And they were like, well, can you work to four? I was like, absolutely. Mm. And uh, it left like one member of staff on by herself for like three hours. So I felt bad about that. So I bought her lunch, you know, try to keep the pace. And then I texted you and was like, I was pricing fucking taxis to Dungannon and shit like that. And then my mate Simon left me out to Dungannon <clears throat> at like four o'clock in the dot. Got to yours. We just about made it. Yeah. Because getting, in a, it's like you said, getting in Dublin isn't the hard part. It's fucking yeah. coming from when you enter the city and you're going anywhere. Yeah, once you get past the, like, three arena. Yeah. See, like, that bit to Vicker Street in a car is, is half an hour. Like It was literally half an hour. Yeah. So, like, 
<clears throat> it even got to the point where like Shane had messaged me being like, Hey, are you still coming tonight? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're literally like fifteen minutes away, whatever. And then it got to the point where you were like, I'll just drop you off here, park at the hotel, and then you just go do the first show. Yeah. But yeah. And then afterwards we went out, we got drunk, you met everyone, good times. It was great crack. Core memories. Core memories. And then it's a good job, like, I, I didn't say to you, oh, let's go and check in and then you can go over to the venue or something because cause that American football match was on. That ho- that little apartment place we were staying in had fucking 30 people in front of me checking in. Yeah. And they're all in the fucking Notre Dame gear. Yeah. Checking in. Um, all, Shout out to all Americans dressing like they're going up Everest when they come to Ireland, you know? Yeah. We're going to be up to our tits in water. They all look like they've just opened up a startup. Like they're all wearing waders and shit. Yeah. Just because there's a bit of drizzle. You fucking idiot. <laughs> but anyway, checked in, went over to the venue. Of course, you know, I, you know, you're like, you're on the guest list. I walk up to this bouncer and I'm like, I just think I'm on a guest list. And he goes, no, stand over there. And I went, right, I'm going to take one back step here and text someone and then get in. Yeah. And then your girl Tara comes down and I get in. I'm like, yeah, shout out to Tara. We were in Vicar Street. I she was great. You. I'm playing here in two weeks, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bully. Yeah. Fucking what? <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, because you got there for, was it the interval between the early show and the late show? Um. Yeah, I got on there like as Shane Gillis was about to go on. Because yeah. I, I, they, she, your girl Tara was like, oh, they're down there. And I just walked down the side of the stage. like Because that, that was obviously my big social anxiety. Going like, am I just going to be a spare dick here tonight? No. You know, like I walked down the stairs and I got vibes of who the fuck's this, you know. But uh, no, once you once you met everyone, like they're they are just sound lads. Like, oh, you know, funny. We had the crack. I, 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 I knew that it was going well whenever there was a stage. You walked out of the green room and Tommy Pope goes, hey, how you doing, baby? <laughs> <laughs> There's a photo that uh, someone took, but I think you posted it already, did you? And uh-huh. then and then Tommy Pope posted it and it's. What order does it go? And it goes Aaron, Tommy Pope, Gillis, and then your guy Chris O'Connor, right? Three very Irish guys and like one fucking half Italian or something. Oh yeah. And oh, I was just I was just like, just fucking lard fucking <laughs> pork. <laughs> fucking made out of butter, these three guys. Soda head, you yeah. know, <laughs> turnip and fucking spuds. And then just one brown sexy guy. Yeah. You know? I know Tommy looks like a fucking model in that picture. He looks, I mean, he's a good looking dude, like, but yeah. you put him on a boss fucking. <laughs> he just, he looked, like, shit. he looked like he was poking his head through pizza, though. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. You, sure, even we, we went up. Oh my! I mean, you didn't. Are you gonna talk, talk about the guy fucking that got in the scrap? Oh my god! So the night, the night before, this guy had obviously nearly gotten a fight with them once. Yeah. And then after the the second show at Vicker Street, this fucking hyped up guy McGregor vibes like comes into the room, and I thought he was something to do with the venue or something, and he's chatting away. And then your guy Chris O'Connor goes, "This is like a social experiment with Shane here." And then it, it, the, the penny dropped on me. I was like, is this the fucking guy that he's nearly got in a fight with last night? And I yeah. was like, oh my God. And then um, in my head, I was going like, I couldn't get in the venue. Yeah. This motherfucker's in the green room, just yeah. walked in. But anyway, he, he decided he was going to take us down, you know, out on the town. And we ended up in some absolute kip that we paid into. But the guy got into a fight with the bouncers at the fucking door. And me and you, like we were telling like Shane Gillis and all us be, pretending to be oblivious to the fact that this guy just walked us through town and then got into a fight with bouncers. So yeah. he, he's in a fucking scuffle and bleeding out his chin and this big giant bald bouncer is like chasing him up the street and he fucking runs off and all me, me and Arne are just like <laughs> hmm. I'm got a voice note there and you know yeah. just like oh god getting late. How do you think a game's gonna go tomorrow anyway? Uh, no, uh, Maybe uh, have a decent say. Uh, how many bars do you have? Do you have two? I have only even one bar there. It's like no, it's just fucking things flying over the place. It was crazy because I think I I do think you were looking at your phone at this stage, but see that initial whenever I looked up and seen that there was like there was three bouncers literally just it looked like he was in a fucking royal rumble. Yeah, just wailing on the cub. But then, <laughs> so funny, which is the kind of behavior you'd expect from this guy. He gets up, runs away, and then faces him and goes. <laughs> oh yeah, he did feel like you know what McGregor used to do when he would like he would do a stare down. Yeah, like the old boxer. Yeah, I don't think McGregor vibes. I think it was like a copy and paste. Like yeah. this guy had the you know the nice shoes with the no socks and uh, then the really tight jeans and the white shirt. 
crazy like and full of powder like oh the guy was days. starting businesses oh. but uh sniffed out sniffed out and he was walking his, Richard. he's walking us down the street right and it's like you know everyone's like walking in a group but it's like me you and chris talking to each other and all of us were like where why is this guy leading the group right yeah. now we're gonna get killed yeah and then sure enough we ended up like whenever we first went to this place very weird layout by the way of like a bar slash nightclub yeah you went down the basement and then it was immediately like like it looked like a teenage disco in cookstown they were like playing really shade like pop music you know what it was like if you went to a midweek nightclub in the ukraine (laughs) right now that's the sort of vibe like six people like Da, 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 da. and we were like where the fuck did everyone go this is a fucking nightmare it was so weird and then thankfully then we dandered upstairs and then it was like a real touristy like kind of you know bar like an irish bar guy singing tunes in the corner singing country roads and stuff and like I, that. I said to them boys i was like this bar is full of tourists looking over their shoulder going is this really what dublin is like like no everybody was just collected in this place going what the fuck is this place well you were saying the dead giveaway was that the guy sang grace and uh, nobody knew to do it yeah the guy the guys played grace and everyone was like go back to country roads well. <laughs> but the american boys shit themselves when i got the baby guinness oh yeah that giant football player took one shot of, i mean it was laughable how it was like me handing him the lid of that bottle it was that big he was like what is it man <laughs> what is it and then he shot at it and he goes oh it's so good it's like a brownie. I think one of them wooed it, and I was like, that's not a woo drink. No. <laughs> you know? A baby Guinness is like a fucking, it is a milkshake, like. Yeah, it's very tasty. Delicious. Very tasty. But what a good crack in there. Your guy Chris O'Connor put that wee tweed hat on, and I was like, you are an Irish man. <laughs> <laughs> you are an absolute. You know, a lot of Americans are like, I'm Irish, and I'm like, no, you're fucking. Oh, yeah. No, nah, you should be an attractor. Yeah. You He's more a- Irish than me. <laughs> yeah, you should be, you should be like just leaning up against the gate somewhere. Yeah. Telling yarns. I did see someone comment in that photo Tommy Pope put up where they were like, they're they like, that guy on the far left is so Irish, he makes Shane look normal. <laughs> they're like, nobody's that Irish. Just big, big old ham faces. Big old Tyrone head, man. But we had a good crack with a lot of funny videos in the phone and all there. Fucking yeah. Everyone's singing. And it was great, like, it really sl- was. You know, just bro stuff, slapping dicks and. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> your guy Tommy Pope was up against beside me at the bar at one point and he just put his head on my shoulder and he's like, Oh gosh, you're so cozy, man. Oh That's great. It was good crack and then we're walking back, best highlight of the night. We're walking back and me and you were chatting away to you know burnt the gums off ourselves and then pizzas, which are fucking trash, but you that De Fontaine's place or whatever mm-hmm. stinking. And uh we're walking up the street and all you hear behind us is <gasps> <laughs> like this massive yawn and we i was like the fuck is that and it was just this girl and she uh, we laughed because she she literally she did a yawn you would do in the privacy of your own home like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and i i turned around and she laughed she starts laughing and we were pissing ourselves and uh and then we just started talking she goes are you gay she was brazilian <laughs> you get because that night that pizza shop full of gay people. Was it not? <laughs> it was. It was yeah. full of gay. It was full of gay guys. It was. And she's like, "Are you gay?" And I'm like, well, "Fucking what a cold open." Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> we were just at a comedy show. We must have been giving off gay vibes. What, what, what was we even wearing? I can't even remember. When we were holding hands. Oh, that's right. <laughs> just two fellas on the street by themselves. Oh yeah, I was getting pulled on. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Are you gay? No, no. He just he needs it. <laughs> He's a UTA, this fella. I'm trying to get it out of him. I'm trying to wank the UTA out of him. <laughs> but then she was chatting away and she goes, I do comedy as well in the Brazilian night. The Irishy people. Who knows you? <laughs> and, uh, and then we walked that long together. She, she said it in very broken English. And I know what she meant, but she goes, are you guys sleeping with me? <laughs> I think she meant like, are you going to my, like, are you following me to my, you know, like we're walked that long and I was like, nah, nah, we're just over there. Yeah. Are you sleeping with me, you guys? That's a risky sentence to put out now. It is. She's lucky she got two well-reared man because. Well-reared man. <laughs> I, cause I was like, nah, we're staying over there. And you're like, I know, what are we on? <laughs> the night's young. <laughs> Turns out I'm not gay. Is there a blue moon out there? Is there? Uh, <laughs> U-T-I. Your house. <laughs> Bottle of wine. Oh, fuck. But nah, it was... It, it was one of those, like, nights where, like... 
you know, two or three days after it, I was kind of, I hate to use the term processing, but, you know, I was just like, fuck, that actually happened. That was great. Yeah, it was, pr- it was pretty wild. No, I mean, not, not no real, real reports other than the fight and just a whole load of good crack. Yeah. Happened in the middle of it. Yeah. Um, shout out to the young bull, Shane Gillis. Shout out to Shane Gillis. Um, set, unbelievable day. Ah, uh, that Netflix special. It'll be unreal. Yeah. What a timeline, by the way, to like get cancelled, then keep going, you know, fucking build an audience off that, release your own special independently on YouTube, you know, feel like mainstream media has closed the door on you, and then you come out the other end, you have the biggest Patreon podcast going, and now you have a Netflix special coming out. Unbelievable. Fucking unreal. <laughs> you have something bleeping to do tonight, man? <laughs> Hope you have no dinner plans for the missus. <laughs> Uh, he's like I've made some couscous and he's like I'm bleeped out I would love to hear uh, dinner chat at your table now Fred <laughs> I'd love to you know what it took you dinner and then some of these two fat bastards just can't stop saying racial slurs you get real snappy at the house and you're like listen I'm sorry I just I can't listen to any more people talking today battery's out battery <laughs> I'm on 1% <laughs> in the yellow battery saver I'm fucking I'm done with hearing people talk. Now straight in the house, straight into the sensory deprivation. <laughs> <laughs> Just floating with a bowl of guan chali. <laughs> on a fucking, on a ring. <sighs> Finally. Silence. That is how I feel post-podcast, to be fair. Like, I'll come home and the adult has 40 questions, you know? Is Colin's kitchen done yet? I'm but like, that's, but that's everyone in your family. Oh, yeah. Oh, come here. <laughs> Are you sleeping? Come here. You've got it a wee bit, you know, you, you got the ADHD questioning, yeah, which is like unnecessary fucking from left field questions, yeah. you know. Give me an example. There's one. To give me an example? But like, you know, you could be talking about anything, you'd be like, yeah, that gig was fun and all, blah, 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 and you'd be like, what's your top three places to buy trainers? Yeah. In Balmina, if you had to if you had to say that. Once it's in my head, I just can't just I, real I can't it's true. But the real question be, you know, you, you hit you hit me with them and I'm like Well, you know, I'm like I didn't know it would have to be Oh yeah going through the, the, the mind tank right now. Oh yeah, it, yeah, I do I do I have heard that before. I do switch between, you know, yeah. silly goofy, crack crack, and then I'll be like what makes you happy? Well those ones I don't mind. Yeah. But you know what I mean? You'll be like We'll be we'll be talking, you know, just just anything, you know, like oh yeah, you know, if we if we record it like ten o'clock, we can get that done. We'll get the Patreon done, and and then uh, I'll scoot home. I have a kitchen appointment to go to, and you'll be like, what well, in order? <laughs> how would you rank the Queens of the Stone Age albums? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're just so like what? Yeah, <laughs> like I don't want to get the fucking spreadsheet out. <laughs> Hold on, I get the names out. In order, rank the songs on that Tyler album. Fair enough, though. Queen's Stone Age, if you had to rank them, you know, like in order. What did you say? <laughs> eh? Come on. I don't know. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> I'm up to my fucking tents of water in my kitchen. <laughs> how high, like, how high was the water? If you had to rank them. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, most amount of water you've ever seen in your life. In terms of, give me. Well, my, picture this. And- <laughs> picture this. It rains really hard outside. Yes. But that happened in your kitchen. Now, if you were equipped with a liter bottle of yeah, how many times would you have to go in and dip it into your kitchen until the flood's gone? Well, you're talking, you know, it's it's millimeters off the ground. Okay. It's, I'm not like actually up to my knees in it. Big like, space though. Yeah, a lot of water has spread out over the tiles. Yeah. And I had to brush it up and slosh it out the door. But in this stage of, you know, the extension, yeah. that's not a nightmare? Correct me if I'm no, wrong? But, no, because you can sort of just close the kitchen door and not use that area okay that's good you know but i dare say it'll be a nightmare today with the cattle running about you know yeah man life's good you're gonna catch next time sir right that's just her own dream right there oh it is it is it is people will be chatting about us behind her back oh my Who the fuck do they think they are extended <laughs> i'm really sorry i did not mean to songs do for the deaf <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Is that an R? Oh, God. 
That's enough tomfoolery for this week, is it? Yeah, well, here... Get your... Ah, you do the Patreon. Well, it's... I was going to say, get over to the Patreon, but then I was going to say fucking the waterfront, but sure, it's tomorrow. It, it'll already happen. It'll already have come and went, by God. Um, well, hopefully it was a good time. I dare say it was. And, uh, you know, slide on over to the Patreon. We're going to get in there now and answer some questions. We do this every week, you know what I mean? We're fucking out here. Opening for our heroes, getting the kitchen extended, you know, dreams are happening. And we'll see you guys next time. Best luck to you. Keep her safe. You're not going to fuck me. From Aaron McCann and Colin William Geddes. TUV. There we are. <laughs>